Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Renee. I hope you're having a great day today. So we, y'all, it has been a crazy week, a crazy week. So I have not hardly worked on my journal, but I am getting a few uh, little pockets and such done. So I figured I'd take you along and y'all can come and craft along with me. So I've gotten, you know, some tuck spots in, some pockets, a couple other things. So I'm working on this part. Uh, let's see what else, you know, got a little, this will be a little pocket up here. Yeah, little pocket and then it flips over for a journaling spot. So I've, I've done just a few little things, little pocket here, um, but yeah. So today I am going to show you how I did this in my second signature. I'm gonna put it on this page and then we'll just work um, for about an hour, see how much we can get done. I love this little um, uh, piece, so I'm gonna do another one on this signature. I'll take you along for that. So we'll just kind of craft, craft and see how far we get. Um, so I'm working on this one first, and then when I get this one done, I'm going to work on um, oh, the, other, the whole other uh, booklet that's gonna go in the other, other book. The, in, the mi middle book or the little mini book inside the big book. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I spent last night cutting out a variety of pictures uh, that I had. Um, so ephemera pieces um, while I was watching TV. So that's about all I did last night. <laughs> um, but I did go to Hobby Lobby today. You know, y'all, I'm trying to stay away. But they had these really cool ribbons. I don't know if you can see that. Look at Let me see if I can... Look at that, and it's like holographic. This was 99 cents, y'all, for three yards of this. So I'm gonna use that. And then I got this one. Let me, let me just open these up, actually. This one was $1.24, and it is um, this kind of, it's like a little stretchy ribbon, but it's got these really cool, oh, there, there's the end. <laughs> got these really cool, uh, little scales on it, I guess, you know. And then I got this one, another, it's glaring off, it's pink, pinkish purplish, like fish scales, mermaid scales, whatever. So plus I got a whole bunch of other stuff, but this is what I got for the journal. So now I'm gonna have to use that in the journal as well. We're, we're gonna use those on tags and stuff. So, okay, so let's get this going. Super easy, y'all. Um, let me move this to the side. So I had some extra papers of, uh, you know, things that I've sprayed and such. And so I am just going to make a pocket for this. I'm trying to figure out which side I want to use. Oh, that'll look pretty. We'll use it like that. Okay, so I want to see how big I want it. So this is going to be, just the crease. This is going to be um, the back piece. So I'm going to measure it like this. Let's see. We want the pocket to be about that high. So. Yeah, today I don't think I'm going to be showing you anything really new. But, you know, you can just craft along with me. See how I'm doing this. And if you want to do the same in yours, um, hopefully they'll be straight up and down, kind of. <laughs> Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Put that on the ground. And then what did I say? How did I? So we've got that side too, that's pretty. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Okay. Cut it there, cut it there. So I'm trying to get 
like I said, this this middle or these signatures done. I'm not going to put a whole bunch of stuff in these because I really want these for journaling. Um, a lot of the hidden pockets and such is going to go in the next journal, the one that we made out of the with the file folder. Okay, and then this is going to be a bottom pocket. Trying to think, do I want more blue like that to match? The page, or do I want to use this guy? I think that's a little more subtle. I don't know, I'm always so indecisive, y'all. So indecisive. Okay, that's gonna be the bottom pocket. So this is actually just gonna be a two pocket, pocket, <laughs> two, two of them, but I'm putting three pieces of paper on there. Okay. So these two are going to get sewn together. See, I sewed the top two together with waves. So this is a pocket up here and then this is a pocket down here. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this. But first I want to emboss the, um, the edges. So let's go for some mark with some silver, just to give it some bling and shine and to strengthen the edges a little bit. When you emboss it, it, it I think it gives it some strength But yeah, it's been such a crazy week. It's just been one thing after another after another, and I've been having to catch up on my Bible journaling, and we have a big uh, sale coming on, our neighborhood garage sales coming up this weekend, so trying to get ready for that. Y'all, I have so much stuff I can get rid of, but I just haven't been able to go through everything, so I'm trying to get go through as much as I can. And then we'll have to, you know, we're getting all ready for that. So hopefully next week we'll have more time to work on this journal. Okay, let me move these and then get this in here. So yeah, someone posted on oh, one of my YouTube channels or no, Facebook channels or maybe it was YouTube, I don't know, about the Hobby Lobby sale. And I was passing one today. I was like, oh, I might as well just stop in and see what they have. <laughs> All their Tim Holtz stuff is 40% off right now. Um, look how pretty that looks. They have a lot of stuff on uh, sale and then a bunch of stuff on clearance as well. I was really looking for clearance items. I mean, 40% off is good too, but I was really looking for clearance items. So that's why I just, I went to the ribbon area and got some ribbon. Don't need any, but you know. <laughs> it was on clearance, y'all. I had to buy some on clearance. You have to. Okay, I'm gonna grab. So this is going to get sewn. So I'm going to just glue this to this like that. This one I am just going to glue just the edges just to hold it because I need to um, sew it. Ever. Okay, I'm going to run to my sewing machine and just sew around the edges. I'll do the the three, and I might go across one with the one color, but it'll take me too long to keep switching out the colors of thread, and you'll just be staring at nothing. So let me just go sew around the edges here. Just going to use a straight stitch.
Okay, so I did a stitch around here, here, and here, and then I started one of my waves. I'm not going to switch out all the thread because I'm going to do a white and then a dark blue, so I'll make some thread, I'll make some waves here. But um, we can do the other part while um, on camera, and I'll do that part off camera. Okay, so for this one, so you can see how I did this. So for this one, um, I grabbed a bunch of, let's see, my, whatever this is, cheesecloth. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. Um, let's see, I'll just put it right there. I think my husband just got home. Yeah, he's early today. Okay, so I put this here. And this is gonna go on this page. So I want the cheesecloth to kind of be hanging off the edge here, off the side. Hey, hon, hi. you're early. Say hi to everybody. Hi. <laughs> Happy scrapping. <laughs> okay, so I just put some glue here, just smear it on, and then I'm gonna put this here and just kind of bunch it up. I'm gonna probably cut some of that off a little bit. I'm gonna cut a little bit of this off and just a tad at the bottom. I'm gonna cut some of that off because we're not gonna need all that. But I do like it hanging off and then some of this we don't need. It still goes a long way, look at that. I'll use those little pieces for something else probably. Okay, and then the next thing I did was grab my, my sorry silk, my big mess of <laughs> sorry silk here. And I wanted the blue. Let me see if I can find an end with blue. If not, I'm just gonna cut it in the middle somewhere. Oh wait, wait, here's one. <gasps> Yay, here's an end with blue. So I grabbed my sorry silk and it's gonna be about that long. So that's what I need. And then I grabbed, oh, let's see, one of these. Hmm. Let's do one with some like greenish color. Yeah, let's do that one. Some eyelash trim. Okay, so this is the part that again, just takes a little time. All I did, for here is I actually sewed the eyelash trim on and then added all the little sequins along the way. So let me get a knot so we can all just chat while I sew. <laughs> Grab your sequins. So this is a great thing to do when you're just watching TV or something. You can just take all your little pieces and start having fun. I mean, there might be an easier way to do this, but if there is, I kind of like doing it this way. This is just, it kind of, so I'm just, I just started in the back and now I'm just securing the, the um, eyelash trim down. That's my first job right there. So it's secure on the edge. And then I'm gonna come up again and let me grab some of these. Let me put some of these out. Ooh. Sorry, all this is starting to heal and it's my blister from my yard work. I gotta finish my yard this weekend too after the garage sale. I have to plant some flowers because everything died in the Texas freeze. Literally everything died. And so what I'm gonna do now, I just, where did it go, y'all? Is it hidden or did it not go and stop here? It's like, where did my sequins go? Okay, so you just put it down and then I just, I'm gonna just put one little loop to secure it down. Cause I want it to be able to float around, kind of like it's floating in water. I want it just to kind of flop around. So then um, I just I just take this uh, thread and just kind of you know wave it up and around the sari silk. And then sometimes I'll put two on here. So again, they can like. Uh, um, play off each other with the light. 
I mean, they're hard to see, but once they're on, oh my gosh, y'all, keep getting caught. And while I'm doing that, I'm also securing the thread down. So I'm putting the thread, this thread, the white thread, over the eyelash trim. So it's, it's helping to secure it down instead of using glue or anything like that. So I just go down the way, down the row. Don't pull too tight because it'll pull your whole, um, sorry silk, but you know, I, t I tighten it as I go and then I just pull it out again. And then I'll even come up and not even um, go over the thread and just put some random um, sequins in different areas of the sari silk so they're not just in a straight line that they're see and I put two right there and and then I'll pull my thread up like this and I'll come up here on this side of the, the eyelash trim I should call it eyelash trim and not thread and then I'll put another sequence in and then secure that piece of eyelash trim down at the same time and so I'm just waving the eyelash trim across the the um, sorry silk. I find this um, I don't know what the word is. I guess I mean not just relaxing, but therapeutic. You know, it's just real quiet. You know, I just get to have fun with it. I'm gonna put some down here. Let's put two on that one. But you can decorate your pockets any way you want. I just really wanted to keep putting a few of these sequins throughout the book since we have them on the cover. I like to um, use some of the same techniques throughout the book. That way it keeps it cohesive. Um, and it brings like a I don't know, cohesiveness, I guess, to the whole thing. I'm gonna come over here and put one up, up here. So I'm just randomly putting Oops, I lost that one. <laughs> Randomly putting sequence in different places. That way it'll play off the light. Okay, that's not good. What happened to there? There we go. And that one will just be hanging out there. And you won't see any of the thread, this white thread, because it'll all be glued on the back. But if you don't want to do this, okay, I'm getting caught. If you don't want to do this, you can just get like a sequence, um, a sequence um, ribbon like I just showed you, like I got from Hobby Lobby, and you can use, you can just, you know, glue that down. But I like, like I said, I like putting my own special touches to journals, things that you might not see in regular journals, I guess, or things you can't buy. I like to always add at least like a little piece of myself in my journals. That's what makes it so personalized. Almost done, y'all. Might not be uh, relaxing for y'all, but it's definitely relaxing for me. <laughs> y'all can just craft along with me. Get out your sewing. Just sew along. Listen to my voice. <laughs> I'll be your sewing guru, or I don't know. Y'all, I don't know. I do not sew. 
this is about the extent of my sewing and sewing in uh, junk journals. That's about it. But I am loving it. I had no idea that I would love my sewing machine so much, y'all. Um, I couldn't believe I was buying one. I'm like, I can't believe I'm buying a sewing machine. Uh, but now that I have it, I love it. I'm like, I love it. This was the best thing I bought myself in a long time. <laughs> I just loved it. So. Hey, I'll probably be crafting for a little bit. Okay. We're gonna do a few things in our journal, if we have time. Let's get this. Almost done, almost at the end. I wanted to put some up here. Okay, and I'm gonna secure this one a couple times at the end. Let me get a couple of these uh, sequins on and then I'm gonna secure it. Okay, and by securing it, just gonna go under and over the thread a couple times. That way you don't have to glue it down. It is on there, see? It's on there. And you can see all the sequins. Okay, then I go to the back and then I just make a knot a couple times and secure it real well. And then it's gonna get glued, so it'll be it'll be on there. Okay, I do this so I don't lose my needle. <laughs> Okay, and then let's seal this up so these don't get all, all over the place. Okay, so there's that. So then what I'm going to do, so let me bring it up close so y'all can see what I did. So see how it plays off the light, all the little sequence in all the different areas? Okay. So I'm gonna take my glue and let's get it started. This one's running out. Do my line. And then that's gonna go there. And I poof out my, my uh, eyelash trim, get it all. Poofy. Okay, so the last thing I need to do is do my waves on here, and then this is going to get glued three sides in here. So there's one. Okay, the other thing I wanted to do is do one like this. So let me put that there so I remember that's where I want it to go. So let's do one kind of like this, but let's do it in this one, this signature. I try to do one of each in a signet in each signature. Let's see where where do we need something? Like a lot of things, I want to keep a lot of these pages open for. Why don't we do it on this page? Keep a lot of these pages open. Okay, so for this one, let's see. I've got all these scraps. This I was using on my jelly plate playing with my jelly plate, so I'm just gonna, uh, so just um, pull out some strips. I like the copper on that. And then I had this one. Let's see, I had this strip. Just gotta use up some of these scraps. Well, let's pull this. Okay, so we've got this and this. And let's do this dark blue. Again, all these were jelly plate. I was just playing with my jelly plate 
with different blues and then coppers and getting this kind of look. I'm gonna use a few of these, like a couple of these that I really like for tags. Um, there's a couple in here. A couple that look like, um, like underwater caverns and such. We're gonna use them for backgrounds, for tags, and then we'll, we'll um, decorate them up. So we'll do that. So I just um, did like three strips, kind of like so. You could do four strips. I don't know. Let me let me move this and we'll kind of fiddle with this and play with it and see what we got here. Um, not at the top. We could do something like that. That would look pretty. And then I already sewed this. This was just another scrap from one of my papers. And this would go on top. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is glue these together. They're gonna get sewed, so I'm just gonna um, you know, just kind of glue them together. They don't have to be like super glued together. Do I want it like that or do I want it like this? I want more of that copper to show. Getting sticky, y'all. Okay. So we do that, and then I need more of my starry silk. So let's find that end again. Oh, here's some blue. Do we want blue, or do we want more of a green for this page? Or do we like the dark blue? Hmm. Y'all, I can't find the ends to any of this. <laughs> I do like the blue green like that. Okay, I'm just gonna cut it in the middle right there. I know, don't cringe. <laughs> okay. So, with this, what else let's see I've got some of these or I've got ooh, some of this hmm I like having the eyelash trim though ooh, that would look pretty with let's double that up Oh, I got so much stuff everywhere. That would be pretty too. Maybe some dark. Let's add that too. Okay. Okay. So I'm just gonna kind of glue this down, but then I'm going to take it to the, my sewing machine and I want to kind of flatten this out just a tad, try to get it. I could go and iron it, but y'all too lazy. Nope. Don't want to iron it. Ugh, it's sticking to me everywhere, but where I want it to stick y'all. I always have that issue. Okay. Hmm. Let's do some dark up this way. I'll put this one on the... Oh, 
Oh my. Okay, I gotta stop fiddling with it because it's just going everywhere. Whoops. We got this little piece of. I'm gonna twist it in there. The whole thing's coming apart. Okay, we can do this. Let's twist it together. And I'm just gonna put this on there. Okay, so I'm gonna take this to my sewing machine and do a zigzag stitch. Hopefully it'll go through these. And I'm just gonna kinda do like a wave down here. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I just actually just did like a wave stitch, you know, or just straight stitch, but I just waved it down. So then I get that, all these little pieces. So they'll, they're secure on there, they see, you can see. That's what I did <laughs> a couple times. So they're secure on there, and I then I go in and I kind of fluff them up and make sure, let's cut that big thread off. Did I get it all? Okay. And then where'd that, here it is. So this is going to get glued right there. So this whole thing I glue down. So you can do a couple of these clusters throughout your book. And I like having the pieces stick out top put a picture on here or do like a title for your page on here so I'm gonna stick that right there and have that overhanging the paper right there And then I take uh, a little silver, I got these off of Amazon, these little, um, I call them little light bulb clips, I don't know what they're called, <laughs> little bulb clips I think. And then this is all my seaside <laughs> uh, little charms and such. Oh, we got a little crab. And this one I did a... Uh, what is that? Swordfish? Swordfish? I'm gonna have a lot of charms throughout this. I'm probably gonna use almost all of these. So, oh, look at that crab, too. Oh, that's cute. That's... And I've got a special thing that I'm gonna do with a couple of these. A couple of these have gems on them. I have a special idea of what I'm gonna do with those, so. Okay. Let me think, okay. So then this, the reason why I did the sari silk is because I try to find an area where I can hook the bulb to the sari silk. Because if you just had just the thread, it'd be harder to attach the bulb right here. 
and then you have that hanging in, in the in the thread cute so I'm gonna do a few of those throughout or at least a couple in each signature of these clusters let me make sure we got this down real well and I'm gonna go through again and make sure everything's glued down real well I always do that before I finish my journal where's my paper towel Okay, let's see how much time we have. Oh, we have a, about 20 minutes or so. Okay, so let me make sure we got all this. So there's a couple things. So we did, I'll have to sew this and that's gonna go in there. We did a cluster. Another thing I wanted to try, so let me move these, was I'm gonna do a Frankenstein folder or pocket and I have this really cool it's a uh, kind of looks like fish scales or mermaid scales and then I was practicing like embossing on it I think that's gonna look really cool and then I had this left over from my winter journal but I'm gonna just use the blue part for underwater scenes and then what I might do I wonder if that, if he'll show through, if I put him on the other side or put one of these images, let's see. I think it would look cool if he's like peeking through. I might need a bright one though. So you get like kind of like a silhouette of one or like a faded image of one that might look cool okay let's see what else do I have got a bunch of starfish mermaid tails hmm. or do we want them on the front Have to think about that okay that's a possibility okay so in the meantime let's where'd my let's emboss this a little bit more and get this right and then we're gonna make a frankenstein envelope so i'm gonna grab the versa mark and i'm gonna try to go gently <laughs> over the top so it's just getting the top raised parts, but I don't mind that it some gets in the middle. It makes it look kind of cool. There's my, and then I could always take a brush and brush it out too. Let's see. Okay. Do it with my finger. Did I get with the person mark? Okay, so some areas I want it and other areas I don't. So I'm just gonna go in like that. I think that'll look cool. Okay. this up and see what it looks like. Oh, wow. 
big line there. I love to watch it change in front of your eyes. I always say it's like magic. Like magic. Just make sure you don't burn your paper. <laughs> Did I get it all? I think I did. Oh, look how pretty that paper looks now, y'all. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that in the light. Oh, so cool. Love it. Okay. So, we have to figure out, first of all, how wide. So, where do we want this? I might do a couple of them, but um, let's see. Put a little tuck spot there. Put a little tuck spot there. <laughs> There's a few things that I've done. Okay, I'm just trying to find. A wider area that I could put a I could get a look at it on this page okay okay so it's gonna go on this page so I need to figure out how high I want it and how wide I want it going to tear it like a wave. Remember to make a Frankenstein. We want this in between. So depending on how big you want it, let's see where my page goes, I guess. Cut it straight up from there. We use that for something else or for another one. Okay, and I want this one. I think I'm gonna shorten this a little because I really want a lot of the vellum to show. So I'm going to cut part of that off. different than that. Okay, so I gotta figure out now which part of this I want to use. And this part got torn a little, so I'm gonna make sure I tear that part off. There we go. Get that torn part off. Okay. I like this part for some reason. I like this. So I'm gonna cut this 
this across. Trying to decide, y'all. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna cut or tear this as a wave, kind of. Continue the wave motion. So again, you have to figure out, that's why I keep bringing it over here, you have to figure out the size, the width you need it to be. So mine's gonna be like that. Oops, wrong thing, I need my pencil. So it's gonna get cut from here to here. I'm just gonna cut it like this. Cut that piece off. And then I'm gonna put just a little glue here to hold it. And then again, this will go to my sewing machine. Where's my, I'm trying to make it as big as I can but without getting it into the, okay. So this will go to my sewing machine and I will sew along this, along this, and along the edges. And then we can decorate it. I'm gonna have to cut off that bottom part right there. Cute. Okay, so let's trim this. Okay. So now, if I want to put, where did my, I might do another one, like with a circle. I could do that. Put him there. Or him peeping out. But you barely see him back there yeah I might not do that I don't know I'll have to think on that or I might do that okay so this is how you make a Frankenstein envelope or pocket sorry pocket this is gonna go on this page so again what I'm gonna do is sew down here sew down here and then sew around the edge and attach it to the page like this and you'll have a pocket right here and then you can decorate it up with whatever. We'll figure it out. We'll decorate that. Okay, so I'll do a couple of those throughout the book. So you'll see that. Let's see, where are we at? 50 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to have to probably wait for the next video. Um, I think what I'm going to do is kind of the same thing with this one. I have this paper. And I'm thinking of doing another kind of Frankenstein envelope. So probably, or Frankenstein pocket. Probably the same as this, except this paper will be on both sides. And then I'm going to have a piece of this paper in the middle. And then I was thinking of decorating it with some of this paper, this, and the mermaid. On the outside so this will be done the same way as this one except with this paper so we'll have this scale paper and we'll have this paper and then instead of vellum we're gonna use some of the acetate paper that I have left over with all the blues and the silvers we'll pick us pick one of these areas 
I love it. it looks like bubbles under the water so so I'll do that as well so the next time I see you in the next video um, I'll show you what I have done in these signatures so we'll get all that done and then we'll start working on our let's see on this book which I haven't touched <laughs> yet um, other than to spray it so we'll start working on this book and this is the one with all the secret pockets and flips and such this one's more for journaling it's gonna have pockets and such as well and then we're gonna have to fill it all with the tags and um, journal cards and all that so Yay, so thank y'all for joining me. I hope you have fun. Continue crafting, and I'll see you next time. Bye.